Hi everyone, today I'm starting a brand new series called Dimensional Analysis using Pop Science Units. Hopefully this will help you to understand how I approach problems and help you to understand the world around you a little bit better as well. So first, what the heck is Dimensional Analysis? Basically, this is a way of looking at the relationship between different quantities by breaking them down into their basic fundamental units like length, energy, or time. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. As a practical example, there's a pizza place in my town that has pretty good deals if you go to pick up. They give you the sizes of the pizzas and the diameters over here, and the prices over here, but how do I know if I'm getting the best deal? What I really want to know is how much pizza I'm getting for my money. So I use the diameter to calculate an area of the pizza, and then I use the price to calculate a price per square inch of pizza. This allows me to compare the prices of the pizzas on an equal basis. It turns out the best deal is extra large at 10.9 cents per square inch, so that's what I order. It's a simple concept, but it becomes a very powerful tool for understanding when you combine it with popular science units. Pop science units are something you've probably seen on TV or in textbooks when they're trying to explain a concept in a way that's easy for you to understand. They'll take a numerical quantity and compare it to something that's familiar to you in your everyday life. For example, they might use the height of a man, or the height of the Empire State Building. When we combine these two concepts, we can really understand a lot of things in our everyday life. For example, nutrition. You've probably seen nutrition labels on food with a lot of information. For example, this can of tomato paste has 20 calories for every two tablespoons. Peanut butter, on the other hand, has 188 calories per two tablespoons. But what does that really mean? Food calories are a measure of the amount of energy that our bodies absorb when we eat the food. And one food calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. In standard units, it's equivalent to 4,184 joules. Since we know the volume of a tablespoon is 15 milliliters, we can use that information to calculate an energy density. And with these calculations, we can see that peanut butter is about 9.5 times more energy dense than tomato paste. But what does that really mean? Well, that's where pop science units will help us out. Imagine if you had an Olympic-sized swimming pool filled with peanut butter. That would give you about 65 terajoules of energy. To get that same amount of energy, you need a whole football field covered with tomato paste to the height of a giraffe. This is also approximately enough to replace all of Canada's energy consumption for four minutes, or about the same amount released by the atomic bomb that devastated Hiroshima in World War II, which, if you put it into a cannon in space, would be powerful enough to launch an African elephant from the Earth to the Moon in less time than it takes to listen to the album Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Here's the calculations if you want to check for yourself. Anyway, hopefully that helps you understand nutrition a little bit better. Let me know in the comments if there's any other problems that you need help with.